Hi everyone and welcome to the root cause analysis use case with WriteBay. In this scenario, we analyze how the countries are performing in terms of profitability for a given month. As it requires external input from someone like a regional manager, WriteBay is perfect for this scenario as it will allow you to provide meaningful contextual information that will enrich the dashboard. As you can see, this dashboard is deeply integrated with WriteBay. We can quickly know if a country already has an analysis, how many analyses each country has, if a root cause was found for the values, and the estimated impact provided during the analysis. Let us check how everything works together. We start by selecting the country we want to provide the root cause and then clicking on Add Root Cause to open the already configured instance of WriteBack with all the necessary fields for this use case. While we input the details for this country, we can see that the previous analysis has been made but did not find the root cause yet, so we'll provide one. Notice that when I suggest that I found the likely root cause, two additional fields uh, show up on the form, so I must justify my perspective. Once I gain all the details, I can hit on submit and see my changes taking place across the dashboard. As WriteBack is so well integrated here, a business user just needs to focus on a task at hand without having to wait for external tools to process the analysis and the information is readily available for others to see as the data is stored in the database. So far, we saw how easy it is for the end users to interact with WriteBack and provide their analysis. But now, let us take a look at how this is all configured. First, I will do an overview of the currently available resources. I will not be building all the worksheets from scratch, but I will show you where the important connections with WriteBack are. Regardless, you can always download the workbook available in our documentation and check every nook and cranny for yourself. With that in mind, you will build the worksheets as you typically do. Every table feature is still available just with the added benefit of providing data with WriteBack. Expanding the possibilities, and because WriteBack data is in your database, you can easily access it and show it back on Tableau. In this case, all the worksheets are using data blending to bring in the data from the WriteBack table. In the top left, a simple worksheet only with the addition of the count of the number of analyses uh, that each country has. We can go to it, and as you can see, we are using a simple calculation to count how many analyses we have for the country. The worksheet below is counting the estimated impact provided with WriteBake, simply by reading the value directly from the database. Finally, the map is using a shape mark on top of the map to indicate the status of the root cause. Here, in the shape, we have a calculated field indicating if the likely root cause was selected on right back or not, modifying the indicators over the map. For further context, we also have this viz in tooltip, which is especially useful to provide more information without taking too much space on the dashboard. This worksheet is simply reading the data directly from the right back table and cross-referencing it with the historical audit table so we know the username of who submitted the analysis. Going to the data sources, we can see that we are doing an inner join between the right back data table and the audit table. The audit table stores the actions that the users take, allowing you to monitor what is happening in your use cases and identify who is doing what. So, as you can see, we can build worksheets and dashboards according to our needs, as we have a lot of flexibility while configuring. Now, regarding WriteBack, let's check how it is configured for this example. We're using the top left worksheet to add analysis, and from that worksheet, we're reading the country and the order date. So the analysis are also associated with the current month of the filter. Next, we have the name of the table and the fields that the users need to input on the form. As you can see, most of them are mandatory, so the users need to provide some value before submitting. Additionally, on the analysis and estimated impact fields, we are using a condition. This is what caused the fields to appear on the form once I selected the likely root cause. Conditions are very useful for scenarios where it is necessary to expand the user inputs based on what they provide. 
On the dashboard settings, we have Auto Refresh enabled, set to refresh data source that contains the right back data, so we can get instant feedback. Other than that, we are using Mark Required as it is necessary to select the country before submitting the analysis. With this, we can see how to create the dynamic and effective dashboard with Writeback, allowing us to provide expert analysis right on Tableau. Thank you for watching.